Today we'll be looking at how to add a form to your Squarespace site that allows site visitors to be able to upload files. So here we're on 5.1 where we've made that change already and added a form that allows for file upload. So this is our form and right here there's that browse files option that allows the user of your site to be able to upload any type of file. So I'll show you how to get that done. And you should note by default, Squarespace, they, they actually don't allow a file upload option with the default form that they give you. So we're actually gonna be using a program called JotForm to be able to get the functionality that we need with the form fields and the file upload field. So here we have our site 5.2 where that form hasn't been added yet. So I'll show you exactly how to get that done. So the first step would be to visit the site.form.com. And what we'll do is to click on the sign up button. And this is actually a free service, so you actually don't need to worry about having to pay anything. So here for the username, you're just going to enter your username, your email address, and also your password. And then create, create my account. And you can actually skip all these questions for now and just go to skip to my forms. And here on the page that loads, you're gonna click the create form button here, this orange button on the top left corner. And they give you some options for the form note. This option is a pretty standard form where it just has all of the questions listed on a single page. Whereas for this one, each question is on an, another page. So as the user enters like, their email address and click next, they're then prompted for the next question, like their name or whatever. So we're gonna just do a basic classic form. So we're gonna click where it says create a form underneath that. And again, there's some more options where you can request the form from support, import, or you can start with a completely blank form but I'm going to choose the option to use template. So I'm going to click the select template button here. So it gives you a, a ton of options for the different templates that you can use, like course evaluation, register your business. But I'm going to do just a very basic customer form, new customer registration form. So I'm going to click on that form image. So it loads the form. And if you want, you can click to go back and choose another one. But this form is fine. It'll serve our purposes. So we're going to click Use Template over here on the top right corner. Right, so from there, we have the form and you can customize it further by clicking on the form designer button and be able to manipulate the colors and so forth. So it kind of blends in with your Squarespace site. But what we're going to do is just to add that file upload element because this basic form doesn't come with a file upload, but we can add it pretty easily. So you're going to click the plus icon that shows over on the top left next to form add a form element and we're going to scroll right down to the file upload option and we're going to just click on it and drag it over to our form specifically right where we want it to go and you can kind of drag it below the form or above any form elements so it's placed mm -hmm. in the exact order that you want your questions to show. And we're going to just add like a label to the form upload field that says upload your document here. 
Okay, so once that's done, we're going to click anywhere out of that to kind of save that change. And next, we're going to publish the form, this form onto our site. So we're going to click on the Publish tab here at the top. And we actually need to embed it. So we're going to click the Embed tab here. Next, we're going to click on iframe because th this I found is the best option to have it embedded on a Squarespace site. And we're going to click on the copy code button. So once that's done and we've copied the code to our. Um, we've, once we've copied the code, we'll go back to our site and we're going to go into the back end. And what we're going to do is hit edit over the page content section where we want our form to go. And in the page content section, we're going to click this plus icon to add a block. We're going to search for code. So here it is. So I'm just going to click this. I'm going to delete, select and delete the default content that comes in the code block. And then I'm gonna hit Control and V to paste in the code that we copied. So the code that was copied has, um, it has an iframe here, and it also has the script. Now the script isn't gonna work well on your Squarespace site if it's embedded in the code block because it's um, disabled, because if you don't have a business plan, it's gonna be disabled. So what we're gonna do is to select the entire script tag. So I'm gonna just select this all. So it starts right after frame and it goes right down to the bottom and I'm gonna hit Control and X to cut. So we've basically just deleted that out of the code block and we've copied it as well to our clipboard. So I'm gonna hit apply. So right now our um, code block just has that iframe, but we also need that script so that the form works properly. So we're just gonna click save here and leave it just for that iframe tag. And we're going to add the JavaScript into the settings of the site. So you're going to click on settings over here on the left panel. Next, scroll down to advanced. And then go to code injection. And you're going to scroll down a bit to the footer section. This is where your JavaScript should always go. And I'm going to click in in that footer section and hit Control V to paste in the JavaScript code that we cut earlier. And once that's done, you just hit save. And now when we visit the front end of the site, we have that form embedded where we can now click, um, well, the user can click browse files to upload any files. And once they complete this entire form, you will get an email to your email address that you signed up with on jotform.com. And it will have all of the field information that was entered here. And any files are going to be also attached to that email. And how it works is that you only need to um, embed the iframe code once. And you can actually go back to the build section and be able to modify the design of the form or add or remove fields. And they will automatically update on the on your Squarespace site. All right, so that's how that's done.